Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Market Update. So, I've got a few things to talk about today. Most importantly, what's been going on lately in the market. So let's go ahead and zoom into the S&P 500 here. And as you can see, we basically came up here. So we were talking about this uh, last week when I made my last video, how we had come down here and we would basically just filled this gap. We came up, retested that gap and shot straight back down. So that gap got um, tested here and it held as resistance and the market sold off. So that's where we are now. That's kind of the context of where we are, but if you can go ahead and look left a little bit as well, you can see that the market basically came right down here and bounced off of this support zone. So let me go ahead and draw that in a little bit better there. It was basically right around here, if I can get this to as close to zero as possible. There we go. So we had this, uh, this level here, it's acted as resistance before in the past. And then once we finally break, broke through, it acted as support. And then we came down here, we tested it again. Today, it acted as support. So we had a YouTube show earlier today. If you guys are interested in our analysis here at Trade Smart on what's going on with the market, then I highly recommend you watch that. But basically, we're pretty much all in agreement that we're expecting some sort of bounce here. So you can see we had a nice support here. We finally got our first green candle. And I think we're likely to see a bit of a bounce here over the next few days. Now, the question, as Scott Landers always asks, is, is this a trade or is it a trend? Personally, I'm of the opinion that it is a trade rather than a trend, meaning that I'm not expecting to be in this for a long time. But I do think that this trade could definitely last several days. So we've got a long weekend here. I think we're likely to probably continue going up tomorrow, uh, Friday, as we get into the weekend here. I think we're likely to kind of head on higher to close out the weekend. That being said, once we get into next week and start looking at uh, how things are looking after the three-day weekend, after the long weekend, it's pretty much anyone's guess at that point. So I don't really have any predictions for next week. It will kind of just depend on what happens on Friday and if there's any news over the weekend, any sort of price action coming in on futures. So keep an eye on those, but that is what I'm looking at here on the S&P 500. I think we are likely to get a little bit of a rally here. I got my calls in earlier today uh, and sure enough, we've been shooting up. We had a nice strong rally into the end of the market here today. If I switch this to, let's say a five minute chart, you can see um, pretty much ended, uh, <clears throat> we were pretty close to where we opened the day at, and then we kind of retested it a couple times and ended up shooting up big by the end of the day. So that worked out pretty well. Let's go ahead and drop this back to a daily chart here. And let's take a look at the Dow Jones next. So kind of similar story here, similar picture, although different context here. Very similar though. You can see, you know, those places where we had, uh, Resistance twice before came down, didn't quite retest that as support uh, in the past about a month ago, but now we are back down to that level and you can see it did hold as support again there as well. So things are looking good here on the Dow Jones. That being said, we do have this gap down here to fill. We haven't quite filled that yet, so we've got a little bit more room to fall to the downside. Doesn't mean it's going to happen now. I do think we are in for a bit of a a rally here, even if it's just for a few days, I think we're in for a bit of a short-term rally before any sort of bearishness is likely to resume. And we've just had a very steep slope here across all of the major indices. So that's just not very sustainable. Obviously we, you know, we can't maintain just a, a straight downward drop. So it's going to have to kind of um, go sideways at least for a little bit or rally a bit. So I think that's what we're seeing here. I think we're about to get uh, a little bit of a rally, probably be fairly sharp, and then we might continue our downward path, but we'll have to see what happens once we have this rally. Next, we've got the Russell 2000 here. So as you can see, basically just sitting kind of halfway here between um, our support and resistance line. So that 50% line kind of acting as support here as well. Came down here, tested that again, gapped here in the morning and, uh, tried to sell off earlier during the day and ultimately ended up rallying back by the close. We did end up closing below where we opened, but not significantly. 
And this is a bit of a, a reversal candle here. So I do think, again, we are likely to see a bit of a rally here on the Russell 2000. We might even get all the way back up to resistance here, but we'll have to see what happens. That is a, a bit of a stretch here. Could be a nice goal to get to, but I'm not, I'm not holding my breath that we get all the way up there. Last one here is semiconductors. So if we take a look at semis here, you can see um, this resistance basically acting uh, reliably, I should say, <laughs> um, as we come up here and we had a bit of a, a double top as the market kind of tested that twice and then ultimately ended up trading back inside of that range. So we tried to have a breakout here. We weren't able to sustain it and back inside the trend lines we go. And I think we're likely to see a similar thing here on the NASDAQ. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Yeah, kind of similar. You know, if we, if we draw those trend lines across here, we were looking at trying to get a breakout here, but then we are back down inside. We're back down below our 20% from the high level on the NASDAQ as well. So this is basically just measuring the bear market level on the NASDAQ. And we are back inside that now as of last week. And it does look like we have found support at that previous resistance and old support level again as well. So we had resistance there twice, finally broke out, retested it as support, came back, and now we have tested it again as support. And it does appear to be holding for now. So we'll have to see what happens moving forward. Again, I think we're likely to have a bit of a rally uh, through Friday as we get into the long weekend. And then possibly even into next week as well. So I've got calls on SPY that are good for a couple of weeks. So I've got plenty of time for those to work out and we'll see when the rally happens, but that's just what I'm looking at right now. So hopefully that's been helpful for you guys. If you like this video, if you like this content, make sure to like the video and it will help reach more people who will also find it useful. And if you do want to get more market updates in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified every time we upload a video. So that's been it for me today. I will be back on Tuesday next week as we look at what has happened after the long weekend. Hope you guys have a fantastic holiday weekend and I will see you next week. Take care.